Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to another edition of Subscription Box Sunday. Today, I have five different boxes to share with you guys. First, we have the Vine O for fall 2021. We have the Ice Cream Beauty Box for September 2021. The Dot Box for September 2021. The Fruit for Thought Box for September 2021. And a Once Upon a Book Club Box. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do lots of different subscription box unboxing videos. Here, so if you're a sub box lover like me, go ahead and subscribe and join this sub box lover family. On Sundays, I like to unbox multiple different boxes at once so you can see all sorts of different products. If you missed one of my recent videos where I shop Instagram ads for a week, then you probably missed what this is, so go ahead and check that video out if you're curious. There will also be a giveaway in this video, and in fact, there will be a triple giveaway. So in one of my previous videos, I did a double giveaway, and one person got it all settled, but for the second winner, like, I had to pick multiple winners and nobody was reaching back out on it, so I'm throwing that giveaway into this, and I have two more giveaways, so there's three people that can win the giveaways this week. Details for the giveaway will be mentioned at the end of this video. So first up, I will start with the Vine O Box for Fall 2021. If you're unfamiliar with this box, this is a quarterly wine and lifestyle subscription box, um, and this is the fall box. Now, I don't drink alcohol, um, but I do enjoy this box because of the lifestyle products, and then I get wine that I can give to others because I don't drink. So if you're somebody like me, that's an option for this box because I do really love the lifestyle products. Now it is sent to me free for review, so thank you Vino for sending this my way. And in this subscription, you get two bottles of wine and then five to six full size uh, lifestyle products each quarter. I do have a code, however, that will get you three bottles of wine for the lifetime of the subscription. Um, so if you sign up with my code down below, you will get three bottles of wine each quarter instead of two. So the price of the box is $59.99 a quarter. And when you sign up, you do get to pick what type of wines you want. You can choose between reds, whites, sweet wines, or a surprise if you just want a surprise of different wines. Um, so let's jump in. Well, first of all, it does come in a way bigger box. The box that I held up previously, this one, is just the lifestyle product. So we'll go ahead and kick it off with the wines. The wines are wrapped really well on these nice cartons. Now their wines typically originate from either California or South Africa. I just get a mix since this is sent to me free for review. So the first wine that I am pulling out is from New Crush, which is a brand I've seen a lot in this subscription box. And this is their California Chardonnay 2019. So that is what it looks like. So the Chardonnay has vibrant notes of apple, honey, and baked bread that arise into fresh applesauce with a touch of cinnamon. Satisfy cravings by pairing with panko chicken or fettuccine alfredo. Ooh, I like that it gives you the pairing of which this would go well with. Not that I know anything about that since I don't drink alcohol, but um, I can at least read the description to you guys. The yeah, next wine that I received is a Tynes California Merlot 2019. So it says that this Merlot is well-balanced and versatile. It has pleasant notes of dried figs, black currants, and cinnamon. I do feel like I've gotten this one before, but of course, I don't know what it tastes like because I don't, I don't drink this, but looks cool. And then the last wine is giving me like Halloween vibes in, in a weird way. It's called Wicked Bliss. This is a 2018 California Syrah. And this doesn't have any... Um, description of the taste for it. It just says, we raise a glass to those who break the unwritten rules of life. May we all be bold enough to play hooky, eat cake for breakfast, and shatter glass ceilings in the pursuit of wicked bliss. So really cute label on that one. So those are the three different wines that I received for the fall box. Again, depending on which of the preferences of wine you chose, you might get different bottles. All right, then we jump into the box of lifestyle products. On top, you get the little packet and it goes over everything that you would receive in the box. The wines retail for at least $24 each. So the first thing inside is something that I've received in a prior box. So this may be like a welcome gift. I'm not sure why they included it. And this is the Athena palette by Laritzi. So I will include this in one of the giveaway boxes, but it's a really pretty eyeshadow palette. I know sometimes they do have a free gift when you sign up, so maybe this is the free gift or they just threw it in. Either way, I will be putting this in the giveaway since I already own this palette. But that's not part of the regular box. It's not listed on the cards. The first thing that I'm pulling out that is listed is from Jewel Smith, and this is their Cosmic Cuff Set, which retails for $58. So it is two separate gold bracelets. This is what it looks like. It says, must have alert. This simple bracelet duo is a timeless classic 
layering piece. One cuff features an asymmetrical star with subtle shine, while the other cuff features two rows of delicate black pave crystal. Stack them up for a bold layered look. This is two and a fourth inches in diameter and nickel free. Very, very pretty. I don't wear a ton of bracelets. Um, I can't, I'm struggling to get this on right now. I, okay. Woo, there we go. All right, that's what it looks like on. Um, it's definitely really cute. I'm just not a big bracelet wearer, so I don't know. Maybe I'll put this in a future giveaway. It's really cute for like fall. I definitely feel like this is the right type of jewelry for a fall box. And it doesn't come too up high on my arm, um, which is good for me with little wrists. If you have bigger wrists, I'm sure you can probably bend this to make it work a little bit better, so cute. The next thing that I am pulling out is from the Willow Collective, and this is their blanket scarf, which retails for $35. It feels very, very soft. It's just a big blanket scarf, super duper fall. Um, it says, is it a blanket or a scarf? Wait, it's both. Cozy, warm, and cute. You can use this blanket to accessorize your outfit or grab a book, some wine, and take a quiet moment to snuggle up. You choose. This is 58 inches by 55 inches and woven fabric. It does have like it, I don't know how this will wash because it does have like some stuff hanging off of it, but it is really, really, really cute. Very, very soft and very fall. The next thing out is a tote bag, and this is the Carly Ray Studio Wine Lover Tote Bag, which retails for $18. That's pretty pricey for a tote bag. Um, it says here, oh cute, this limited edition Carly Ray Studio Tote is perfect for your long walks down the wine aisle. Whether you're shopping for your wine, gifting it, or need to take it on the road with you, this canvas will tote, excuse me, this canvas tote will be here to make you smile. It says, I enjoy long romantic walks down the wine aisle. Yeah, that's definitely not me, so I will give this away because I... <laughs> I don't do that, but I do think that it is a cute wine bag. I do wish that maybe it had a bigger bottom so you could actually put wine in it, um, but it is a really, really cute, nicely made tote bag. Ooh, okay, this is huge. The next thing out is from Refresh, and this is their dry shampoo, which retails for $9. It says here, freshen up those locks with the Refresh Dry Shampoo. It features fast absorbing powders to soak up and eliminate oil, sweat, and odor. Its formula cleanses hair, leaving it looking and feeling refreshed. No dusty white right residue, just revitalized, touchable hair and a warm vanilla scent. Ooh, or this says sweet vanilla, but I can't wait. I love dry shampoo. It's definitely a great thing. My hair is like frizzy today because I blow dried it, which I never really do, and that's you know, but I'll probably need some dry shampoo later. And this vanilla one sounds incredible. And this is a big, like, it's hard to tell, but I feel like this is a big tube. All right, the next thing out looks incredible. This is from Sweet Chaos, and this is their vanilla chai popcorn, which retails for $4. Um, it says, Sweet Chaos's vanilla chai drizzled popcorn is here to bring a fall flavor you love to a popcorn you love. Um, it's made of non-GMO kernels and is hand popped in coconut oil with vanilla chai spices and a sweet white frosting drizzle. It will sure help you enjoy those fall moments that you've been waiting for. Um, yes, please. I have not eaten breakfast yet and this is what I want uh, right now. I'm not going to lie. This sounds incredible. So that is everything in the fall Vine O box. I think it felt very, very fall, um, super duper fun. I think the blanket scarf, the bracelet, the uh, popcorn, this, obviously the tote bag isn't so much for me, um, but I do think it, if normally you'd get this if you like wine, so it definitely makes sense for somebody who would like wine. So I thought this was a good box. Let me know your thoughts down below. All right, next we will jump into the ice cream box for September. If you're unfamiliar with the ice cream beauty box, it is a monthly makeup and beauty subscription where you get five to seven beauty items items inside. The box itself is $24 a month, and I do have a coupon code down below where you can get 10% off your first box. It looks like this month's theme is September Schools in Session, and there are five products inside. The first thing is from Basic Beauty, and this is their The Bougie Wine Tasting Trio Blush Palette. Oh my goodness, that just aligns really well with the order I went in for this <laughs> unboxing. So, in a plastic container. Ooh, okay, these are some strong blushes. I am not gonna swatch this because I'll probably give this away. They're very, very nice, but on my face, woo! So it is a bottle of Dom, bottle of Rosé, and bottle of Prosecco. This is a very, very, very pretty palette of blushes, but for my skin tone, I wonder if you could use these as eyeshadows too, um, potentially. Very, very beautiful, and maybe if you go in with a light hand, that would work for somebody like me, but that terrifies me. But it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The next thing I'm pulling out is from Bella Pierre Cosmetics, and this is their Ultra Glow Palette, which retails for $29. This is a highlighting and bronzing palette. Ooh, this is actually cute. 
So it comes with oh, a little thing there. Muir, two little highlighters and two bronzers. Let's swatch these. Actually, well, one of the bronzers is kind of shimmery, and then it's got the bronzer itself. The bronzer's kind of hard to see up top uh, there, but then there are the shimmers there. That's actually a very, very pretty palette. Um, and I like that it's so small and compact. Like, I feel like this is a good, like, on-the-go face palette that doesn't take a lot of room if you're traveling and things like that. You got your highlighter and your bronzer right there. Super easy, breezy, on-the-go, I don't even know. <laughs> but very, very cute. The next thing that I'm pulling out is from Ace Beauté, and this is their Blossom Passion Palette, which retails for $35. Loving all the face palettes we're getting. All right, so this is what it looks like. Oh, wow. Okay full-size mirror and there are all of the shades there lots of fun colors and I actually like this because this is a pretty f you can definitely go fall with this but you can do lots of things with this it's like it's got I love that deep color there okay let me swatch a few of these shades all right so there are a few shades on my fingers all right so there are the shades on my arm there the shimmery peony shade didn't show up a whole lot but again it might function differently the way it's applied but those mattes at least um, and swatch really, really well. So I'm excited to play around with this. I've definitely gotten Ace Beauté palettes before, so I'm excited to play around with this one. It has a lot of fun colors. The next thing that I am pulling out is from Mirabella, and this is their Lip Crayon, which retails for $20. And mine is in the shade Vice. It's a velvet lip pencil. So that is what it looks like. It's gonna definitely be a red kind of lip crayon. And it's almost like a wine red. Ooh, yeah. Very creamy. I love, that's like a vampy kind of red. That looked good with my look today, actually. It's super creamy. It feels so nice on the hands. I feel like it will actually work with the palette really, really well because it's had a lot of pinky kind of red shades going on. So that's awesome. Now you do get different shades and things like that as well. So you may not have gotten the shade Vice if you receive this, but I actually really like that shade. And then last but not least, we have a product from My Couture, and this is their two-in-one bronzing sheet, so it's retail for $18. So this has oil blotting and bronzing paper. Interesting. So it's like a brown paper for blotting. Interesting. Now, I normally get oily on my forehead and on my nose. That's not necessarily where I want to bronze. But I, I'll definitely have to try this. I'm not gonna try it right now because I don't wanna ruin, I'm afraid I'll ruin my face, but I like the idea of that. Interesting, I've never heard of something like this. Very, very, very cool. So that is everything in the ice cream beauty box for September. I thought it was an incredible array of different products. I'm very excited to play around with some of this stuff. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. All right, next we are going to jump into the Dot Box for September 2021. If you're unfamiliar with Dot Box, this is a monthly lifestyle and period subscription where you get fun lifestyle products and snacks. And then if you choose to get the period products, you can include those as well. This is a very customized subscription box in that you do fill out profiles with information. If you join the Facebook group, you can make some additional selections through some of the polls that she has there. Um, the price of this box is $39.99 if you just get the lifestyle style products. If you choose to get period products included, it then goes to $42.99 a month. Um, with the period products, you get things like tampons, pads. You get to choose if you want a mixture of both or if you just want tampons, just want pads. And I believe you get additional snacks with the period portion as well. Now this box was sent to me free for review and I don't think I mentioned it. The ice cream was as well and the vino. So everything so far has been sent to me free for review. And I do have a coupon code down below where you can get 10% off of your first dot box. All right, so on top is the card. The theme this month is back at it. It says, well, here we go, back to the office, back to the classroom, and officially back at it. This month's goodies were curated to add a pinch of humor, convenience, and encouragement as we embrace round two of our new normal. Um, so it lists everything that you receive in the box. Next month's box, the October box, is like my favorite box of the year because it's their fall box. And you guys know how I feel about fall. So anyway, but let's jump into this box. So the very first thing that I am pulling out is this here. This is a retro inspired keychain or a motel keychain. Mine says, don't worry, be happy. Really cute. It's got kind of, it's hard to tell because it's uh, light, but it's cut kind of like a, I don't even know what it's called. It's not solid yellow. You can see that. <laughs> it says, embrace a dose of encouragement, no sass or humor sass. I think mine is a no sass version. Every time you prepare yourself to hit the road, if keychains are not your thing, it makes for a perfect welcome back to the office treat for a friend or a coworker. Um, I like that it has like the little 
I don't know what this is called. I'm not even showing it, the hooky thing. And yeah, this is very, very cute. I do have a few of these type of keychains, and I do like these. They're an easy way to find your key in your bag. That's why I like these, um, but very, very, very cute. The next thing out is a little eco-friendly little lunch bag. Mine says, this adulting thing is really starting to get on my nerves. So that's what it looks like. It says, store your snacks, phone, keys, charger, makeup, and more in this reusable eco-friendly bag. You can hand wash it with mild soap, water, and hang to dry. It does kind of open up so that you can fit different things inside. And it's just like a cute little bag that I probably use this as a snack bag. And it has a little handle as well. Okay, the snacks right now, I'm like I said, I have not eaten, are looking very good. The first one is from Danan Gourmet Popcorn. This is a dark chocolate popcorn bag. And this definitely feels like that very light airy one with that crunchy outside. So I am like, this is hot air popped. This looks, this might be my breakfast today after I'm done filming. I'm not gonna lie, that looks incredible. Then the next snack out is a pack of Oreos. I love the snacks in this box because these are the type of things I would not ever buy for myself. So I love it and I might be having Oreos and chocolate popcorn for breakfast, and nobody's gonna judge, okay? It's fine. Then we also have a Kind Healthy Grains Milk Chocolate Chunk Drizzled Bar as well, so that we can feel a little bit healthy <laughs> about our breakfast choices. Um, but yeah, 100% whole grains, 12 grams per bar. Ooh, the next thing out is a necklace. This is the Good Luck Handmade Necklace. All right, I took the plastic off so you can see it a little bit better. Um, it says, the tradition of wearing a horseshoe necklace for good luck stems from the use of the horseshoe as a symbol of protection. In the Greek antiquity, a person who wore a horseshoe necklace was paying homage to the moon, the symbol of good crops, abundance, and fertility. To keep good luck sacred, never wear your horseshoe upside down. Oh, that's really, really cute. It does have little divots in it. On the back side, it is like just plain gold. So if you didn't like the divots, you could just wear it backwards. But I do think this is a really, really cute gold necklace. All right. The next thing that I'm pulling out is this here. This is their whipped coffee and brown sugar scrub. It says, wake up your senses and skin with this handmade whipped coffee scrub. Let's smell this because it's going to smell good, I bet. Her stuff always smells very, very good. It is sealed. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh, I want to eat that. It's got that like coffee with a hint of chocolate kind of. Oh my God. Oh, that's, that is, that is yummy. Like sexy yummy. Like I want to lick it. No, don't do that. That's soap. It would taste disgusting. <laughs> um, but honestly, can we make this into like, can we make like snack butter? I feel like that would be amazing on toast. All right, losing my mind. Apparently I am very hungry. Um, this has organic coffee grounds inside, coconut oil and almond oil. It talks more about the benefits of those, but honestly, the benefit of this to me is that it smells amazing <laughs> and whatever it does for my skin is great too. But like, honestly, that smells so incredibly good. It says scoop a quarter size of soap out with your fingers, rub onto your loofah, poof or cloth and lather on like body wash. Eee! Okay, yum. Then I have my period products, so I get just get the Playtex for regular tampons, so I got a pack of those. Again, this is only if you get the period box, and depends on what you select. So if you chose pads, you'd get pads. You do get to choose which brand and type you want, so it's almost like walking down the aisle of the store and picking what you want, but just doing that online. So this is what I would buy in store, and it's what I got. And then last but not least, I received this here. This is a device power bank. So it says, avoid being caught off guard with a dead battery. This 4,000 mAh portable battery supplies a fast charge to an, up to an hour on your devices so you can keep talking, texting, capturing memories, listening, reading, or gaming on the go. Conveniently attached to your keychain, laptop, backpack, or diaper bag. So it does have a little chain there. It's hard to see, but yeah, you can hook that up. Um, and I got mine in a pretty green color. You can never have too many power banks, so this is great. So that was everything in the dot box for September. I thought it was a very, very fun theme. Um, very excited about the snacks. I love the smell of the scrub. The necklace is adorable. The power bank is great. Um, if you're going back to work or school, this is a great little snack pack. <laughs> um, the keychain's super duper adorable. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think of this month's dot box? I am so excited for next month's. Um, 
be so fun. And I have 10% off of the box as well. All right, next let's jump into the Fruit for Thought box for September. If you're unfamiliar with the Fruit for Thought box, this is, I would consider a monthly lifestyle subscription, but it's based on a fruit or food theme each month. And you get all sorts of different types of products inside from snacks to um, cooking accessories to beauty products to stationery. Any type of product you can imagine you could get in this box revolving around those food themes. The price of the box is $39.95 a month, um, and this is sent to me free for review. And I have a 10% off coupon if you want to sign up. So the September theme is grape wine. If you're curious about the October theme, it's caramel pear. If you go to their website, you can see, I think, multiple months of the different themes in case you're curious, but this month is grape wine. And then the back of this lists all of the products inside. I already see something I'm excited about, so. All right, we'll start with the product that I'm the most excited about, and that's this here. Um, this is from Hi Chew, and it's the ultimate Japanese juicy, chewy candy with a bold grape flavor. I think I've tried Hi Chews before, or at least I think they look delicious, and these are flavored with the grape flavor, so. The, I'm like, my mouth is watering. I love juicy, chewy candy. So this is a very much within my wheelhouse and I cannot wait to eat these later. This is so fun. The next thing that I am pulling out is from All Up in the Hair and it's a pair of earrings. These are the um, Grape Soda Druzy earrings. So these are Druzy crystals. They're on kind of like a gold brass thing. It has one of these type of clasps. Very, very pretty. I love the kind of Druzy stone. Very, very pretty. The next thing that I'm pulling out is from the Dallas Soap Company, and this is their Pink Moscato Foaming Sugar Scrub. Ooh, I love sugar scrubs. Okay, let's kind of smell this. It is sealed. Ooh, okay, that smells really, really good. It's got like a, well, it says here, the scent has a crisp, refreshing aroma of sparkling white wine with nuances of pomegranate and green apple with hints of rose and geranium. Ugh. It says, we love this scent so much that we've included a small version of their popular luxury bath, bubble bath. <gasps> oh, that's so cute. So you get the sugar scrub and then the matching scent. It's also in pink Moscato bubble bath. Yeah, y'all know I love bath products. So I'm very excited. This smells so good. It's like a fruity, sweet, light, feminine. Oh, I love it so much. I can't wait to use this scrub and I'll probably use them together. A lot of times I put use these scrubs in the bath before I shave my legs so I can put this bubble bath and I will smell incredible. The next thing out is from Fruity Alchemy Labs. This is their grape soda scented soap. It has a lively and intoxicating aroma of juicy sweet grapes. I thought this was food for a second. Now I don't want to open. Oh, you can smell it through the bag. I don't want to open this yet because I have a bunch of soaps in the works and when you open it, like the oils and everything, breathe a lot and Oh, but I cannot wait to use this soap. I love, I like artificially scented things or flavored things and I know a lot of people don't. And I like, the thing is, is when you go for an artificially like scented flavored grape thing, I know it doesn't taste like real grapes, but I still like that. I like, it's okay to be different. You know what I mean? Like I can enjoy natural grapes the way they are and then I can also enjoy Manufactured grapes. Uh, that's not the right word. I said that weird. I'm sorry. The next thing out is from The Chiller, and this is an ice carrier. So it's the best of both worlds for those who enjoy wine, beer, or any other cold beverage. It's a combination bottle carrier, carrier and ice bucket with handles that includes a clear front pouch where you can put a label of the beverage that's inside or a bottle opener or corkscrew safe for poolside. So it's basically opens up like this. It's this wide and it has plastic at the bottom. You fill it with ice and then you put whatever bottle or drink inside it to keep it cool. And then it does have these cute little handles. Oh wait, this is really cute. I love the idea of this. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, so fun. Then we have something from Life's Grape. These are vine dried grapes and these are peanut butter dipped grapes. So it says a twist on the classic peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, they took their vine dried grapes and dipped them in rich creamy peanut butter for a nostalgic treat. The vine dried grapes and rich and sumptu are rich and sumptuous since they are dried slowly under the shades of the canopy, making them extra juicy and flavorful. Well, this sounds so good. Normally I'm not a huge like raisin person. Like I don't dislike raisins. I can eat a box of raisins, but this sounds amazing. And then last but not least, I don't see listed anywhere on here, but this is the Crush Grape um, Drink Packet Mix on the go. There are six inside, so you can just pour these in your water bottle and have the Crush Grape 
taste. Um, it is sugar free, so that's pretty fun as well. So that was everything in the September grape wine themed box. I thought it was super fun. I always love how creative these boxes are. Um, I'm definitely tucking into these later and these like I'm hungry right now. So I just want to eat everything. I'm gonna have an amazing bath. I cannot wait to try out all of these products, but definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And last but not least, let's jump into the once upon a book club box for, I don't know what month this is. They don't do months anymore. This was shipped to me in on August 5th. So if you're unfamiliar, with Once Upon a Book Club. It is a monthly book subscription where you get a book and also gifts that correlate with the page number. So if you're reading on page 57 that she was putting on a pair of sunglasses, you may open a box that correlates and you get a pair of sunglasses, stuff like that. Um, and the box itself is $49.99 a month, I believe, plus shipping. Um, and you get three to four gifts with the book each month. Now I do pay for this box with my own money. I do have a referral link that I'll leave down below that helps me get a discount off of my box. So if you're curious in signing up, that's an option or you can just sign up regular. Either way it works. And this month's box or the book club kit is the Catherine Dior French Resistance Spy Book Club Kit. That's kind of how they're naming them versus the months because they were behind on shipping, but I kind of just preferred them doing the months. Um, I know a lot of you guys asked if I got the Halloween boxes. I did not, but I am planning on getting the Christmas themed box. So each month you get the book and you get your book club kit. So the book this month was Sisters of the Resistance by Chris Christine Wells. I loved this book. I'll read a little bit more about it in a second, but this month it was a paperback. Some months you get a hardcover. It just depends on the month. I really, really did love and enjoy this book. I'll be honest, the book, the next book that I have that I've started, I already don't, I read the back of it and I'm like, this isn't for me. So that might be a lot, it might be a while before that box features itself on my channel because that I don't, it's just not my type of book. So it's gonna be a lot harder to read through. I will say that majority of the time, I really do love the books I receive though. So maybe it'll be really good. So in the book club kit, you do receive this booklet that goes over uh, an interview with the author. There are discussion questions that you can answer on social media. So there is a virtual book club element to it. And then it lists all of the gifts you received. Now I will say, one thing that was somewhat disappointing for me this month is that they didn't put stickers in the book. Normally they put a sticker in the book of when you're supposed to open the gift. And this month they left them out. I probably could have contacted customer service, but whatever, it's, it is what it is. Next month already has them in them. But normally you would get something and it says open gift here. So I just had to keep referring back to this to check, okay, what pages am I supposed to be opening um, the book on? Um, and then it has a DIY secret decoder thing if you wanna mess around with that. So that's kind of cool. You then get a little bookmark. It reminds you pst, to fully experience this box. Remember to only open your gifts once you reach a given page. And then there is um, a little quote on it from the book. Then you do receive a quote card. It has the exact same quote. So it says, courage, my dear. Um, and that, and then on the back, it has a little note from the author on it as well. Sometimes you do get a little sticker with the author's signature on it. I didn't receive that this month. So I don't know if they just didn't, I don't know. Normally I put it inside the book. I don't know if not all months have that, but this month it was a little bit weird in that I didn't have any stickers in my, my thing and I didn't even get the signature plate. So not sure what happened, but it was a very good book. So first I'll read a little bit about the book. Then I'll show you the wrapped gifts and then I will unwrap them, but I'll give you a warning in case you don't, in case you haven't gotten there yet and you don't want to see the gifts unwrapped for whatever reason. Sometimes you can purchase these boxes one off in their online shop. So you might be able to purchase this outside of the subscription. And if you didn't want to know what it came with, then you know, you could skip that portion. So a little bit more about the book itself. It says two sisters join the French resistance in Paris in this page turning new novel inspired by the real life bravery of Catherine Dior, the sister of fashion designer Christian Dior and a heroine of World War II France. So it says parents 1944. The war is nearly over, but for members of the resistance in occupied France, it is more dangerous than ever before. Gabby Foucher loathes the Nazis, though as the concierge of a number 10 Rue Royale, she does her best to avoid conflict, unlike her bold sister Yvette, who finds trouble at every turn. Then, both sisters are recruited into the resistance by Catherine Dior and swept into a treacherous world of spies, fugitives, and intrigue. While Gabby risks everything for the man she is hiding from the Nazis, Yvette must decide whether to trust an enigmatic diplomat who seems to have guessed her secret. As the threat of betrayal draws ever closer, one slip could mean the death of many, and Gabby and Yvette must make the choices they might regret. Then it jumps forward to Paris, 1947. So in the book, it actually switches back and forth frequently. 
It says, Yvette returns from New York to re reunite with Gabby and begin a life anew as a mannequin for Christian Dior, who is revolutionizing fashion with a new look. But first, she must uncover the truth behind Catherine's terrible fate, while Gabby finds that there are many kinds of courage and that love is always worth fighting for. So I very much enjoyed this book. This is a very, very good book. Um, one of my favorites, I think, that I've gotten. I really, really enjoyed the novel. It did take me a little minute to get through this book, but I think I just had so much going on in life. It wasn't the book's fault. It was just like life happened, you know what I mean? But really, really enjoyed it. All right, so the gifts were wrapped. The first one is page 114, and this is what it looks like. Then page 213, I obviously opened it, but this is what it looked like. Then page 256, it, did, it comes in like a little red velvet box, and it did have the ribbon, ribbon, ribbon tied around it. And then page 310. Now, this is gonna be somewhat difficult because normally I just pull to where the sticky is uh, but because there were no stickies I'm gonna have to find the pages and then figure out where I think the sticky note would have been for where the gift is so I'm gonna be unwrapping them now so if you don't want to see that um, you probably will want to skip forward to the giveaway all right so I think I found where this would be so this is the top secret page 114 it says her gaze made another circuit of the room then snagged on Gabby's folio what's this Ignoring Gabby's half-hearted protest, she crossed to the table and picked up page after page, examining the sketches of Dior dresses with close attention. She looked up. You were there. So I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of these type of gifts, and this is basically just like an art print, but and last month's, the month before's art print I really like, but to me, I feel like this is somewhat lazy. Like I, I'm not, I'm not, this is gonna be recycled. I'm not gonna frame this or put this up. I don't love it. I don't think it's great. Um, I think it's kind of boring. I don't think it should be counted as a gift in a $50 box, in my opinion. So not super happy about this gift, if I'm honest. It's, I just feel like it could have been a much, much better art print. This is like not cute, in my opinion. You might think differently and that's fine. All right, so the next gift was on page 213. Baga released her wrist. Are you here to waste my time, mademoiselle? Of course not, please. I. She fished into her purse and brought out a small velvet bag. I have and it kind of cuts off, he interrupts her, but I'm not gonna keep reading. Um, so that is from page 213, and you receive a little purse. It is a plastic pink purse with gold um, detail, and when you open it up, um, you get a chain that you can put around the bag. It does have these clear openings on the inside so things won't fall out. You get a gold chain to put on it. It does um, talk about her pulling out the small velvet bag, and then you get the small velvet bag. There's supposed to be a piece of jewelry in the book. There's nothing in this velvet bag, so it's just a random velvet bag. So that's interesting. But the purse is kind of cute. I don't think it's very me. I did not love the gifts in this box, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not I'm not always a fan of the gifts. I like the experience, but I don't always need the stuff. It is a cute purse, but it's just not my style, I don't think. So this is page 256. She lifted out the velvet bed from the jewel box and used a pen knife to slit open the lining, just enough to slide her small note through between the lining and the base of the box. Then she sewed up the tear with tiny stitches, fitted the velvet bed back in place, and she put the pearls on top of that. So when you open it up, you do have the pearls inside, and then you open it up, and inside um, is the coating. Thing for the letter. So there is an actual statement on the back and you can use one side to decode it. Um, and then it does come with a really actually cute velvet, velvet, <laughs> pearl-esque necklace. It's one of these, those clasp ones. So you could just wear it as is, or you could do the thing where you wear it around your neck and you have that dangling um, either way. Now I will say that the pearl doesn't like line up evenly, but it is a cute little necklace. I think it actually is pretty cute. Y'all know I love gold jewelry and I like the addition of the little fake pearls as well. And then page 310. So it says, with clumsy fingers, Gabby smoothed out the torn page of fool scap. A little metal object dropped to the floor, but she ignored it. The message was brief, written hastily. It said, all my love, Jay. Catherine bent down to pick something up from the floor and held it out to Gabby. Through a haze of grief, Gabby looked down. A small boat stippled with diamonds, a tiny sapphire for an eye. She closed her hand over it, held it tightly, and felt the pin pierce the fleshy part of her palm. So, you get a little brooch, which is cute, but also like brooches aren't super in right now, but you get the little brooch 
of the bird. So that was everything in the Once Upon a Book Club box for the Catherine Dior Sisters of the Resistance novel. I thought the book was great. The gifts were not really my cup of tea this month, but the book itself was really, really good. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think of this box? So those are all the boxes that I'm going to be unboxing today in this edition of Subscription Box Sunday. Let me know what was your favorite box and what was your favorite product that you received in the box. I think those high chews. <laughs> I know, I think it's just because I'm hungry. I think that's what I'm the most excited about right now. Um, now the giveaway, I know that's what you guys are interested in. So the giveaway will be open until September 25th at midnight Eastern time. There will be three different winners. Um, I will email them then on the 26th, um, letting them know that they won and need to send me their address. If I don't get your address in like a couple days, I'll follow up and then I'll pick new winners because obviously last time I ran into that issue, um, you do have to be subscribed to my channel and live in the US or Canada in order to win. Um, there will be a link down in the description box. You do have to enter through that link in order to enter the giveaway. Um, there's also an extra entry if you go over to my Instagram page through the link, but you do have to go through the link to be entered. Um, so good luck to everybody. Again, it will be open through the 25th at midnight Eastern. So again, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and I'll see you in my next video.